In this video, I'll walk you through how and why you should limit login attempts on your WordPress website. The biggest reason why you should limit them is just simply for the brute force attack. It's a simple method that uses this trial and error to hack into your website. Okay, so now you know why you should limit the number of login attempts. Let me show you how you can do it quickly. The first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress dashboard. And from here, we're going to install a plugin. The plugin we're going to install is called the limit login attempts reloaded. The free version is really all we need to get up and running. So from our dashboard, let's head over to plugins, add new, and let's type in limit login attempts reloaded. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and install this now and stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great, once it's activated, we can come over to the left for limit login attempts. And now we need to go to the settings tab to set things up. The default settings should be fine for you, but we'll cover a few items of interest. For instance, if you want to make sure you're in GDPR compliance, you can check this and then this message will show up under the login site portion. Under the local lockout, you can give yourself four allowed retries, a 20 minute lockout, then you can do four lockouts will increase the lockout time by 24 hours and then 24 hour retries are reset. And once you're done, just click save settings. And now just to show you what that will look like, I'm going to log out and then we'll go to the login page and see it in action. And you notice on here, we now have a message at the bottom for GDPR. And then if I try to put in the wrong password and click login, then it tells you how many remaining attempts that you'll have before it resets and locks you out for 20 minutes. And now make sure you watch this video next as I and I cover the top plugins that you need for your website. And I'll see you over there.